Hi, I'm Kristen Hanna, and welcome to my world. Every book is a journey, for me as a writer and for you as a reader. I return to the themes, places, and characters from my novel, Firefly Lane, to write my newest book, Fly Away. And I wanted to take you on that journey with me by showing you the places that inspired me along the way. So come fly away with me to Washington State, where the seas are a deep, deep blue and the old growth forests have been in place for hundreds of years and where an imposing peak like Mount Rainier can appear and disappear in the blink of an eye. Our story begins with two 13-year-old girls, Tully and Kate, and from the moment they came into my life, I was hooked. To go to Firefly Lane, you'll have to leave bustling Seattle behind and head out to the country, towards sleepy downtown Snohomish, where Kate and Tully met, and where I grew up. Now cross the river and keep going, over the hills and into the valley at the base of the giant mountains. This is the beautiful Pilchuck River. It was here that Kate and Tully began to braid their lives together. Two teenage girls who sneaked out of their houses at night and sat on a muddy riverbank and became the best of friends. This is how I imagined Kate's house. It looks a lot like the one I grew up in. And from Tully's vantage point across the street, it looked like paradise. Tully threw stones at Katie's window in the middle of the night. Did you ever sneak out with your best friend? I did. After college, Kate and Tully shared their first apartment not far from Seattle's famous Pike Place Market. But lives change as we grow up. From the moment Kate met Johnny, she knew he was the one. In the glittering 80s and the button-down 90s, Tully built a career and Kate built a family. When Kate and Johnny got married, the friends could have lost touch. Their lives were so different, but some friendships are meant to last a lifetime. Tully became godmother to Kate's daughter, Mara. From her island home, Kate could still see the sparkling Seattle skyline. From a distance, she watched her best friend become rich and famous. For decades, Kate and Tully remained best friends. They sat in beach chairs and listened to the waves wash upon the rocks and shared the stories of their lives, until one day Kate was gone. And Tully and Mara and Johnny had to find a way to go on. But how do you do that, really? How do you go on after someone you love is gone? Find out how the Firefly Lane story ends and a new one begins in Fly Away. <laughs>